It's a festive season. It's Christmas. Christmas is coming. I cannot sing to save my life. So do not expect me to sing any carols for you all, okay? So let's just say Christmas is coming, okay? Christmas is coming and I do know and I hope that a lot of you are taking that <laughs> that trip, okay? I know for one that some Nigerians might be traveling back home. I know that some Africans might be going home for Christmas because to us, Christmas is in the village. <laughs> it's, it's not in the Western world. Christmas is in the village. When you say place, where are we traveling to for Christmas as kids? They always take you to the village. And I feel like it has become a habit for a lot of Africans, especially Nigerians, to go back to the village for Christmas. So if you're staying outside, you're in diaspora, I see some people buying their tickets and they're planning to go back home, okay? And I know that there are some people as well that are also booking tickets to go on vacations to like other countries, okay? And depending on where you're traveling from, you might be taking a long flight and this video is for you. Please do not skip or run away from this video if you know very well that you're about to embark on a long journey about to take a long flight this video is really 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 for you so stick around okay and let's get into today's video so as much as packing is important there are also some steps that i feel like you should take before getting on a long flight and steps you should take while on a long flight okay so before getting on a long flight i have my notes here so i don't miss out on anything one thing you should always always consider is your outfit please 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 don't wait for the next day oh my god i'm traveling tomorrow i'll find what i wear tomorrow start planning like a week before so you find comfy clothes if you do not have buy because going on a long flight long journey <laughs> I won't even say any flights, but because of the fact that this video is specific for surviving a long flight, okay, I would say, please, because it's a long flight, get comfy clothes. Not just clothes, your shoes as well, okay? Make sure you have comfy shoes. If you're going to wear Crocs, put on socks as well, just in case you get cold. And if that's not the case, please buy good sneakers or something that gives you balance, something that you know very well that if you walk around a very big airport especially when you're having like transit flights you're not going to be feeling pain or something that while you're seated for a long time you'll get like swelling on your feet or stuff like that okay so please wear comfy clothes wear comfy shoes the next point that i have here is use the restroom go and pee ease yourself okay ease your bladder before getting on the flight. You don't want to be one of those people that stand up immediately the flight, you just get on the flight to go and use the washroom, okay? Please, I try I try as much as possible whenever I'm flying to use the um, restroom first before getting on the flight. As long as it's a long flight, please do that. I advise you do that, okay? The next point before getting on the flight that you should, okay, you should do, and this is very important, is look out for your health. Please don't start cutting down on things you eat on that day of flying. I feel like you should prepare two days before. Don't take anything that is too spicy. Do not eat things that are like too gassy. Don't take those things. You don't want to be one of those people that people are staring at you like, oh my God, that guy just farted on the flight. So please pay attention to that. Make sure that you are considerate of others before getting on a long flight. Don't just think about yourself and put everything into your system. And when you're on that long flight and then your system is not releasing what we don't want to perceive. Do you get what I'm saying? So please be conscious about that. Take care of your health before getting on a flight. Take care of your skin, take care of everything before getting on your flight, okay? So now you have gotten on the flight, so let's talk about things that you should do while on the flight. The first point that I have here is, oh, please, 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 because they're serving you on the flight, they're giving you what to eat, giving you food on the flight, it doesn't mean you should eat everything on that plate. If you know very well that having something that has cheese in it, it's not good for you, okay? You yeah, are lactose intolerance. Please don't go and <laughs> don't say, hey, that's what they served me, so I'll eat it. No. Be mindful of what you take into your system. Be mindful of what you eat on the flight so you don't have accidents or you don't be the, f you know, that passenger that is always frequenting the, <laughs> the toilets. Please don't be that passenger. It's very uncomfortable having to pass through people every single time on the flight. I feel like 
no that's something you don't want to do it, it makes you feel uncomfortable it makes the person next to you feel uncomfortable as well so to avoid that be mindful of what you put into your system while on the flight as well and the next point that i have here is when you board a flight and it's a long flight please make sure to take walks on the flight just walk down that aisle, your personal aisle, that aisle you're, you're seated at, just walk down there. It helps you with blood circulations. I noticed that I used to get like swelling. My feet swells a lot, like if I stand for so long or if I'm seated for so long, it's gonna be swollen. So if you're like me or if, even if you're not like me, it's needed, please. If you're on a long flight, please take those walks. It's a very, very 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 important it's going to save your life so you don't get blood clots or anything drastic nothing of an emergency please i feel like we don't emphasize that as much please take walks while you're on the plane if you cannot take walks do calf raises just to help yourself please you can just stand at a spot and do that. Make sure you stand up from time to time. You don't have to come out and walk if you don't want to walk. Maybe take like one walk once, okay, and then do that. Okay, so another thing is take those toilet breaks, okay? I don't really drink a lot of water when I'm on the flight. I don't know, <laughs> okay? Not saying don't be hydrated, but personally, I don't drink a lot of water. But if you do and you, you feel like peeing, please go and do so. But I don't advise you drink a lot of water because you're just going to be disturbing the other people seated next to you. Like that's how you're seated and you're always passing the path. <sighs> It's not comfortable for people seated next to you, so please limit your intake of water. But at the same time, please don't hold your bladder. Like, if you know you want to ease yourself, go ease yourself. Don't hold it, okay? Because that'll just make you uncomfortable throughout your flight. Like, you're pressed throughout your flight. Don't do it. I beg of you. Pee, <laughs> okay? And the next one is take a nap. You don't want to arrive at your destination looking like someone that they beat inside the flight. So take a nap when necessary. Yeah, the movies are for entertainment and all that, but it doesn't mean you should watch it throughout. Take an hour, sleep, take two hours if needed. Take a nap. Please, I beg of you. If you want to sleep throughout the flights, you can, but I don't advise it because that would mean you sitting for 10 hours or 15 hours. So no, you can sleep like an hour two hours and then continue watching a movie so that way you're conscious of moving your body and stuff like that okay so that's all the points i've written here for you guys if you have any other points on surviving a long flight what helps you do let us know in the comment section i know some people use pillows some people take specific things to the flight to help them ease their stress and all that so please if you're one of those people and you have points please let us know in the comment section we'd like to hear from you as well so yeah and that'll be all for today's video i hope to see you all in my next one do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like do not forget to share this video to someone that you you know that's taking a long flight very soon and you just want to help the person so help me help the person by sending the video to the person okay i hope to see you all in my next one all right bye